Hey guys, Stefan here from Sybil's AI. And in this video, I'm showing you our new feature we've launched, which is workflow building. And the concept here is on the left, I can select some knowledge base of information. This is input documents or files that I wanna use um, in this workflow. So in this case, I'm actually going to be doing an example, which I think many people could understand, which is reviewing contracts for risks. Um, and in this case, I can select my two contracts that I want to use that I've already uploaded into my project. And you'll see that both of those now being input files. You'll see here that basically what we do is for these different topics, we do an RAG search to pull out all the relevant information from this knowledge base. We then have these different tasks which are performed. So if you've used these generative design tools before, like Grasshopper, you'll probably instinctively know what we're trying to do here. But in this example, I'm basically uh, giving one task, which is summarize this in plain English for the project manager, and then also a uh, score out of 10 to these uh, terms, provisions, so they follow the best practices. So I'm basically doing these tasks for on all of these different topics. I can also add my own so I can customize this all myself, like no two projects are the same and, you know, teams work in different ways. So you can also add in here your own task and all of this can be customized. You can even change these existing ones or delete them. Um, and then, yeah, you write into an output file. So you create an output. In this case, it would be a Word document. And then you hit run. So this can take about 10 to 15 seconds to process. And then once it's processed, so this one took 14 seconds, you can click this view outputs. And then when I click the view outputs, you'll see here on the left, all of these different topics, and then these tasks which, which are associated with those. And uh, in this case, you've got this output scoring it out of 10 roughly. Uh, so nine in this case, and then some rationale providing its reasoning behind why, what, what's standard about it, what's some areas for improvement, and then referencing different documents. So here it provides references to the sections of these contracts. So you can cross check. Uh, you can work your way through these different tasks which have been performed and reviewing all the outputs and then basically you can download this as an excel or a word document in this case it's not really tables so probably a word document will be more useful if you want an output um, but yeah you can also run this um, to generate tables so in this case i'm doing a risk assessment searching things like buried utilities from all of these specifications looking at the interfaces site access restrictions um, so you can upload bids and tenders and basically run all these checks on it and in this case i'm searching it's telling me what types of buried utilities there are on the project who owns them all these interfaces on the project and how they should be managed and then we have templates for these different tasks. So you don't have to create them all yourself, but you can if you want to. Um, but we have templates for different tasks, like we have some for, t for bidding right now. So for these types of risk assessments, like technical risk assessments, contract risk assessments, we've got some for site investigations, which we've been doing for quite a long time now with um, extracting borehole data, lab testing data. And all of these can be customized yourself. So you can run these however you like. And that's it. That's the latest features. <laughs>